Hey guys, it's Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. I just want to show you a classroom hack that um, one of my fellow teachers showed me a few years ago that is great for name recognition and also for just keeping track of everything, like who's had a turn doing what, who's come to your center, um, who's there that day. You can use it for anything. So at the beginning of the year, when I get my class list, I make these small, um, little name list in a really super simple font. I believe this one is DJB Red Pencil. KG Fonts has a neatly printed as well, but I like it to be a super simple, very clear print font so the kids can read this and find their own names. So what I do is I print a bunch of these. I keep them on my cart um, that I use for circle time and group time and that way when we're doing things like having name of the day or having someone up and count manipulatives or anything that requires turn taking, I make some kind of little mark. It can be a dash, it can be a dot, it can be a star. I might have like two things going on at once where I need two different ways to keep track of people. So, so I'll do that. And what's great is you can mark these up with dry erase. These are laminated. You can mark these up with a dry erase marker. And of course this one's not working. Let me get this one. You can mark these up with a dry erase marker. Use your giant pom-pom, which if you haven't heard me talk about giant pom-poms, you guys, best eraser for dry erase ever, 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 ever. Big, gigantic pom-poms. Total accident, we have a huge bin of these. I don't know why someone ordered a bazillion black giant pom-poms, but I am a grateful recipient. So that's what I keep these here for at circle time. But I also have three tables um, where I do teacher-led centers. And every table has a class list. Pre-K is purple, preschool three-fours is green. So we know which class is which, everybody's name on it. Um, so each teacher-led center has that and they all have a bucket. And in the bucket are scissors dry erase marker, pen, Sharpie for writing the kids' names on artwork and their work and whatever when the kids can't write their names, um, and a giant pom-pom for erasing because this is the best thing ever. I will say this a thousand times. So all this stuff is in their little teacher center kit along with the checkoff sheets for the names. So when you first start out the year, uh, the kids will come to your center and you're just getting to know them and you're kind of getting back in the swing. So as like Ariana came to my center, I'd cross her name off, right? Um, and I would do that until everybody's name was marked off. If someone was absent, let's say Porter's absent and Vincent are absent this week. Then as I'm calling people to my center, I know who hasn't been there and who has. Great thing about this is um, I start after I know that the kids, like I have their names on everything, their cubbies, their coat hooks, their placemats. So they're getting name recognition stuff constantly. Once I know they're getting to the point where they can probably find their name, they come to my center, they see dry erase board, they see this list, they take the lid off the dry erase board and they find their own name and they mark it off. And then some kids I'll say, Hey, um, Piper's not here. Can you check off Piper's name too. And they'll be like, I don't know Piper's name. And it's like, it starts with a P. I've got lots of P names and then it has an I. So I'm teaching them other people's names too. So that is how we'll do that. So we love these. So like I said, I have these at my, um, at my cart for where I do circle time. I have them at every teacher led center. I have one of these on the back of, we have these little emergency books that we have to take out for fire drills and everything. So I can take a quick attendance um, and make sure that when we've evacuated, I've evacuated everybody. Uh, this is great for when I have parent volunteers, which COVID, I'll never have parent volunteer again, I swear. Um, and when a substitute teacher comes and is helping me out for the day. So those are handy um, and it takes very little time for to a, a sheet and how I made the little frame around it. It's just a square that I've elongated and taken the inside out so the shape fill is nothing 
or white. You could do white if you wanted. And then just a text box with the names in them. And then I print them, laminate them, cut them out. And like I said, one at each one of my teacher centers and my circle time card. So there you have it get on this. This is a great thing and another name recognition. And also guys, um, this is one of my first times using this stand and I don't know where I'm supposed to look to talk to people. So if it looks like I'm looking off into the distance all the time, it's because I don't know, I'm not used to this yet, but thanks for stopping in and hopefully I'll have some more great tips later.